Hey everyone, welcome to part 25 of Persona 5 Royal with me, Fibidu. In the last episode, we were not able to rank up our knowledge. And the reason why I wanted to rank up our knowledge, I explained this before, but it was cut out in the final video. Basically, if we max out our rank in knowledge, we'll be able to get 100% on our exam. Let's say I was only at level 4, which we are right now. If I get all of the questions correct, I will still only get 80% on the exam because my rank isn't maxed out. And that's the same for if it was level 3, level 2, level 1, it would go down by 20%. Maybe not 20%, maybe more like 5% at a time because, you know, we still got our answers correct. Let's say our rank was at max level, it would be 100%. But if it was only at level 4 and we got everything correct, we'd only get a 95 and then lower would be a 90, and then an 85, and then an 80, if we got everything correct at our le certain level. So that's the reason why I wanted to max out our knowledge, but it's okay, a 95 is good. It's better than nothing, better than a 85 at least. But yeah, we're actually one day away from exams. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Not study because that's not gonna do us any good. So let's just see who we can rank up with before exam day. Not to Kemi. Nobody at church because it's only morning. All right, so I've decided to work at the flower shop today because we're able to increase our kindness by three points if we make the bouquet correctly. But also I was checking my messages and Makoto texted us apparently where we can study with her to prepare for exams. I need to do that more often. I need to look at her, me her messages more because it's not going to pop up on the map. Because I think the studying is just for studying. It doesn't increase our confidant or anything. So I need to check on that more. And even if I did hang out with her last time, our rank would still not have gone up. So that's unfortunate, but oh well. I'll make sure to read our text messages more often. But yeah, we're like I said, we're going to go work do? at this flower shop real quick to increase our kindness so let's work and i'll just speed through this this isn't anything important oh yeah oh wait no 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 <clears throat> let's just read it all right i did explain things to you last time let's see <laughs> last time was like three months ago we have our happy flower days on wednesdays and saturdays which is when we offer discounts on bouquets I'll be having you choose the flowers for the bouquets too. I might even bump up your pay if the customer really likes your arrangement. So I know today isn't a happy flower day, but we do have a bouquet request. Here we go. It's important that you get some practice in. So let's have a start making one. All right, let's make one. I appreciate it. Okay, Kun, we have an order for a bouquet. Please handle it. All right. The customer is looking for large, brightly colored flowers. Pick three that fit the description. Ooh, three large bright colors. Okay. okay. All right, let's make sure we pick the right flowers. Hmm. The request is for large brightly colored flowers. I bet light colors or white even work too. All right, let's give this a try. Which flower will you pick first? Oh my goodness. Are you for real right now? Am I supposed to just know this? Okay, well... Oh, it even gives us a description. Okay, so it's large, strong scented, red flower embodied with passion love. Okay, so it's large at least. Let's choose the scarlet rose. Okay, pick the second flower now. Alright, and then the other large one was the gold one. Alright, now the third and final flower. Let's just go with this flashy one. Carnation. What do you want to do? Alright. The order was for large, brightly colored flowers. Is that okay? Is this okay? Yes, this should be good. Right. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll love it. Okay, bye. <laughs> Didn't even say anything. Amazing! Our customer was extremely happy. Here. Well, here's your pay for today. I gave you a little bonus because of how well you did. Thank you. 7k, bro. That's from one fight. You did great. <laughs> the, the money is nothing. I just want the kindness. Good work, k -Kun. Come back again when you have the time. Nice. Okay, I was about to say, where's our kindness? Work went great today. Living surrounded by flowers might be your true calling. And you were good with the customers too. Hmm. 
Sweet. Oh, yes. I think that's a rank up, guys. Let's go. I didn't know how close we were to ranking up our kindness. All right. That's awesome. One try. Want to head back? <laughs> All right. We should head home. That was amazing. I think it was our second note that ranked us up, but it's okay. I'll, I'll take the third one. I'll take the bonus. Ah, it's you're pretty, back. It's pretty late. I guess I should head home. Yeah, you should. There were ladies waiting for you. Crossword puzzle. Oh, hey, we haven't hey. done this in a while. Let me just do it real quick. Call to inform the public. Broadcast. There's no way. No, bro. Did I spell right? Broadcasts. Oh, there's not even a T. Dang, it was so close. If it was broadcast, it'd be amazing. Conference. There we go. Sweet. All right. Yeah. I'm All right. I see. Nice. Nice. And we got smarts. I didn't get this before, did I? Well, that only gave us one knowledge, so I guess it wouldn't even be worth it. But I was going to hang out with Sojiro tonight if our kindness didn't rank up, but it did. So instead of that, we're just gonna go and check out our confidant, see who can we hang out with. Nice. But it looks like our plant's good. Let's see if anyone's texted us. Are you free today? Exam soon. Okay, studying with Ryuji as well. Dang. And then this is just a confidant. Dang, everyone's trying to. Man, I could have hung out with so many people to to get our knowledge up, but again, it would not have ranked up. But let's see who's will rank up. A catchy. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Three of these dudes crazy and then i think oh no she's not here today okay all right she took a break from shogi i guess let's hang out with who hasn't we... oh, man i hate to say it but i think we should hang out with mishima we've not seen him for a while even though his rank is pretty high he's one of our highest ranks it will rank him up and we haven't seen him in a while again so let's hang out with mishima i guess all right mishima hi Let's see how you can ruin our night again. The Phantom Thieves are practically unstoppable. Everyone loves you guys. Okay, don't say that out loud. <laughs> As do I, of course. So, you did the request I asked you to do. Thanks. Hey, um, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's super important. Do you think you can make some time right now? Yeah, sure. I feel like my bond with Mishima will grow. That's the only reason. So, what will you do? Yes, we'll hang out with Mishima. You're the only one I can talk to about this. We should go somewhere quiet if possible. What do you think? How about Inokashira Park? I think we've been there before. Shouldn't be anything important. Yeah. Hey! I have some great info for you. <laughs> um. Make sure that the coast is clear. It's about the next target in the Phantom Thieves. This one's massive. Okay, this is a confidant, so I'm not. I'm not sure about this. I'm not. I'm not believing this dude one bit. Just tell me already. I'm not interested. You sure are fired up. Nah, just tell me. Let's get this over with. <laughs> oh, and there's the rank up. <laughs> I know you're excited, but you don't need to rush me. This is the guy. He's a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. He's great at acting, has solid conversational skills. He's even been in all sorts of commercials. If you manage to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be doing some shady stuff, I just know it. Um, it's a bit of a stretch, he's got no proof. And no, I'm not just saying that out of jealousy. I heard a rumor that a famous idol fell into his clutches. You need to act on behalf of her fans. Calm yourself. Calm. <laughs> Calm down. Rumors are wrong all the time. It's none of our business. Let's say calm down for a bit. I am calm. Oh my goodness. We're gonna die. He's gonna throw us in the lake. And thinking about it from my calm standpoint, I believe you guys can benefit from changing his heart. I mean, this would be the best publicity possible for you guys. What do you think? Well, pretty good tactic, huh? Aren't I an amazing producer? Just you wait. I'm gonna put the Phantom Thieves on the map. You'll practically be swimming in requests. That's not really the point. Mishima's motivation seems to be growing stronger. Oh, that's it. We're not even gonna deny it. There it is. Our first, I think, rank six. All right. 
I don't know, maybe Igor's at six or Morgana. That's right. I'm the producer for the Phantom Thieves. I'm not boring. I'm not a zero. Oh no. <laughs> Always sad now. Hey, take out your phone. Oh no, what's going on? All right. I just sent you that actor's data. Why? I didn't ask for that. No, I just ask why. He already seems sad. Don't worry, this request will boost your popularity, guaranteed. After all, I'm the only reason you guys have gotten this far, right? Is that right? Absolutely, nice job. Nah, nah, nah. I wish I could just say no to him, man. Why is K so nice to Mishima? Is that right? <laughs> no, no. I think you mean, yes, that's right. Uh, you just don't know all the stuff I do for you guys. Oh, no. He's becoming the villain. The Phantom Thieves' success is thanks to me. The Phantom Thieves are changing the world. That means I'm the one who is responsible for those changes. Damn it. That means I'm not a zero. Man, this dude. He's just trying to prove himself. But honestly, I don't even know why he's not in the Phantom Thieves. Well, I know why, but I don't know, you know, why he's not a member. I don't know. It's just a little confusing. Make sure you check the info I sent you. I'll let you know once I've found some more details. It's gonna See be our next confidant. He's gonna be like, so my mistake. That person was perfectly fine. Bye bye. Well, that was a kind. See? See what I mean, guys? I don't know. His confidant is probably second to Oi Oihaya. Yo! It's probably second to Oya on the most boring confidant tier list. <laughs> Maybe maybe they're tied. I feel like they're tied. I don't know. So I just heard this, but apparently we're having a summer festival soon. Oh yeah. I heard there's gonna be a ton of kebabs, steaks, and hot stuff. Dude, I'm so pumped. What about studying? Is there nothing but meat? No, but what about studying? We should have done that last time. Come on, night. man. Well, uh, I'll figure it out. There was some English on the website too. I guess if we studied with Ryuji, he would have had a reason to study. Same with Makoto, but then again, Makoto studies regardless. Oh man, now I'm hungry. Let's get going already. Yeah, let's get these exams done. Let's do this. I'm ready. All the news on Kanashiro has distracted me from studying. Sure, buddy. So what if she's an honor student? Why should she get special treatment? Results are what matter, you know. I heard the Phantom Thieves might be from our school. That can't be true. It'd be funny if it was, though. <laughs> Alrighty. I think it is exam day. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Today is the first day of your final exams. Begin. Alright. Oh, we've seen this before. If angle C is 28 degrees and angle A and D are 88 degrees, what is the angle of B and E? Oh my goodness. Geometry. <laughs> I have not done geometry in so long. Let's go with 64 degrees. I did Ooh, the math. We can do this. That sounds about right. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Let's see, an essay question? This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Explain the origin of Bowsy. Oh, uh, Bowsy, in this hot weather? Well, never mind. I think this came up in class. They were invented by that famous guy from Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? Lu Su, Zhong Ling, or Ka Kao Kao? Let's go with Zhong Ling. Yeah, the strategist of Shu. I think the story was about a river overflowing somewhere Zhong Ling visited. And they were offering something to quell the river. Travelers' hearts, barbarians' heads, barbarians' skulls. Um, I think it was barbarians' heads. That's it, a crazy story. And that's how he came up with the Bowsy, right? This master strategist came up with the Bowsy to offer them instead of heads, offer with the heads to feed the survivors. This is such a long question, but I'm pretty sure it's to offer them instead of heads. Yeah, I think you're right. The Bowsy were invented as an offering to the river spirit to replace the tradition of offering severed heads. Yep. You finished in time. Sweet. Give it up. That's it. Huh? Give up already. Sweet. And I'm. it's just going to go to the next day of exams. 
We need to go straight to exams for three days straight, I think. Here we go. Let's get this. Now everyone. This is the second day of finals. You may begin. Here we go, here we go. What is the name and genus of this organism? Um uh, horseshare crab, snow crab, or red king crab. Um red king crab. Ooh, we can do this! That sounds about right. Sweet, sweet. What happened when the government issued paper and hard currencies in Japan for the first time? It caused riots, the government had collapsed, it caused confusion in the economy. Yes. Ooh, we can do this! Sounds about right. Sweet. Speedrun. Exam speedrun. Last day. Last day. That's crazy. We had a whole day. Let's get started. A whole day just to do one, two questions, actually. I don't know. I feel like we should be able to increase our knowledge, but it's all, all right, I guess. Today is the third day of finals. Are you ready? Then you may begin. What is the English equivalent of the Norwegian idiom reigning witches? Uh, reigning cats and dogs. Ooh, we can do this! That's about right. Yep, reigning Morganas. Which of the following is another name for the soba noodles traditionally eaten on Tanabata? Oh, that's four. Jeez, four. Orihime silk, demon guts, demon heart, stray canal. Uh, demon guts. Ooh, we Sounds can do about this! about right. Sweet. I think that was it. That was it. Exams out of the way. Done. Dunzo. Ah, oh, and it was a rainy night, too. Oh, there's another one. Last day of exams, huh? You've seen all these before. You've got this, all right? Huh? Nice. This is going good. Looking forward to seeing your score. Oh, okay. See, I was right. Okay. <laughs> there's no more questions. There was still another day in exams, but we didn't have to be involved in that. All right, what do we get? My parents are going to kill me. There was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. Same here. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oof. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san. Oh, no. She's got enemies. I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. Hey there. Hello. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Sure. The counselor needs my help? <laughs> nah, let's just go with sure. I don't think we have a choice Thanks. anyways. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. Make it quick. Make it snappy. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. Give us three times the amount of snacks. Five. Five times. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway, as I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Me? Uh, do you need counseling? Money troubles? Oh, yeah, we can, we can, we can fund to you. You need money? You need money? I got you. Well, there's a subject where I could definitely use some input, but not at the moment. <laughs> I've had something on my mind lately. And I want to hear your take on it. All right. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Oh, we're we talking about... We're talking about the honor student, Miss Prez, aren't we? No. This person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. Oh, so obvious. Literally using the same phrase as those two girls, special treatment. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? Ooh. They'll be disappointed. They'll turn on that person. I don't want to think about it. They'll be disappointed they'll turn on that person. I think they'll be disappointed, honestly. Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. Aww. But that's easier said than done. Very true. This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. 
Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Reality is unfair. You just have to keep trying. This may not be the job for you. Jeez. No, I think, yeah, you just gotta keep trying. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to get all analytical. Alright, are we done here? <laughs> what I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Hmm, a fundamental solution. Like what? Yeah, like what? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Ooh. Wait, we're gonna get requests from Maruki? But Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Well, at least we have a supporter, Maruki himself. That's crazy. Which is, I don't know. He's talking to us as if he knows that we know the Phantom Thieves in some way. But maybe with him now, we're trying to reach out to the Phantom Thieves. Maybe make a forum post or something. That sounds tough. Is that really a change of heart? Hmm. Right. Can't really change feelings. I don't think. That sounds tough. Let's say, is that really a change of heart? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. You're welcome. And enjoy your vacation. Yes. Yes. Vacation. Festival time. Let's go. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. <sighs> I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. <laughs> hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. Nah, I was up playing video games. Uh. Slacking off is just too much fun. <laughs> right, but slacking off with the thought of exams is just so scary. I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. I might even be too clean now. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <laughs> And I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever! It's over with now! Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thieves' popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kinda feels like our time's finally here. I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. Ooh, will we actually get to choose? Nah. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. Nice. Two more days. I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. You sure are on top of these kinds of things. We don't even know the exam scores yet, and we're just going straight into celebration. <laughs> now for the weather. Oh, this is random. Okay. Hopefully, it's not going to tell us that it's bad for the... Oh, no. Wait, it looks like it is going to be bad for this festival. It seems we'll continue to have localized torrential rainstorms all through next week. Oh, no. If you're heading outside, be prepared for sudden changes in the weather. No. Our celebration. That makes me so sad. The time just flew by today, huh? Yeah, this whole week. Nice. And our plan still looks good. Can we go out? Wow. Exams really drained us that much. I guess we can play a video game, right? We don't really... I don't really have anything to do. That's my checklist done for today. I just wanted to get kindness up. I, mean, I guess we can try to get guts up, but where can we increase guts in here? Unless we have a book or a video game to do that. So let's see if we can... Go to bed. We can't even go down? Wait, go to straight to bed? Hey. We can't even play video games? Can we craft? What? Can I talk? What's the point of this? Just to talk to Morgana? Okay. Now that you're done with exams, let's find ourselves a new target. Okay, it didn't even say much. Well, at least we can look at this, right? Wow. Oh, there's stuff in here. Sweet. There it is, the bonus content. These are the DLCs for the outfits for our guys. I've been wondering where these were. 
So I looked it up, and oh my goodness, there's so much. I can't believe people paid for these. I'm getting these for free. But then again, I did pay for the game. But wow. Wow, this is amazing. Oh my goodness, it just keeps going. I can't wait to wear all these. Oh, oh we're getting abilities and stuff too. Oh my goodness. These are cards. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is just crazy at this point. Oh my goodness. Pro protein. Bro, bio-nutrients. That's the best one. And we're getting it right off the bat. Oh, I could have opened this at the beginning. Black rocks. Blank cards. I bought all these already. What? And 100,000 yen? What the? That's crazy. That's the most amount I've ever had. That's insane. It's just been sitting there this whole time. Could have been so much easier at the beginning. <laughs> 100,000. I feel like we're cheating, but dang. Well, we're pretty far into the game now, so it's not really a benefit anymore. So let's try our summer uniform the next time we go to... We don't have a summer uniform for Morgana? I guess he's always in his summer uniform, huh? Oh, summer uniform, as in for school. Yeah, we can go to palaces in our uniform now. <laughs> I'll definitely look through those once we go into mementos or something. Or just somewhere to look at our outfit. But for now, it looks like we're just gonna go to bed. Okay, nobody even wants to hit us up. Alright, in any case, it's good that exams are over. Let's go to sleep. Sleep, don't sleep. Oh, let's go to sleep. Aww. And it's raining. Hey, it's me. Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about that summer festival. You remember the one I told you about? I forgot. I think so. Let me sleep. Uh, <laughs> no, I think so. Come on, man. Well, I know so. Dang it. Come on, the whole thing was the kebabs. <laughs> so, like... I completely spaced on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So, you want to go? Of course. We already decided that. Fine, fine. I have a lot of homework. I'll think about it. Nah, let's, let's go with it. Yeah. I'm not joking around. I'm going to this thing. Rain or shine. Heck yeah. I knew you'd be down. Let's make sure we invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow though. Eh, whatever. No way it's gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow. I don't know if it's pouring pretty badly out there right now. <sighs> How would he know whether or not it'll rain? Sheesh. All worked up over a silly little festival. Full of food. Of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself. But be sure to keep a low profile, alright? <laughs> let's turn oh. in for the night. Look at Morgana on the bed. He's so cute. Anyway, let's get some sleep. Oh, and uh, no sleeping in. Got it? I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. <laughs> skip breakfast to keep his belly empty for the, the festival. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, fun. <laughs> What's up? Heat wave. Oh, that's what that meant. Mm. Mm. Why? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Are they gonna make a a special attack together right now? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Sure. You need some money for food or something? Not this time. Not this time. <laughs> I've actually been mulling over a new battle tactic for a while now. Yes. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? That sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? Yeah, I bet it's super complex. In for Yuji to even comprehend. Huh. Well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. <laughs> Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. That's right, Josie. I don't know why he calls him Jose. Maybe it is Jose. Or maybe that's just how he says it. 
but I guess we should ask him about the star. I mean, I feel like we've tried, we've talked to him after our first encounter with that star being activated. So I don't know when we'll actually confront him about that or ask him about it. Same here. But I think we should head over to Mementos because we do have a task that we need to do. And I want to see our cool DLC uniforms or cool DLC outfits. Sweet. That's so cool. But first, we got a festival. Ooh, it looks so cool. It's so hot. Yeah, it's definitely not raining today. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. Whose bright idea was it to come here? <laughs> Yours. <laughs> and just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. Oh no, here we go. A TV crew, huh? It's gonna be us. We better not stand out and instantly get interviewed. We can't end up on TV. Let's get out of here. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Yes, it's right there. No! Ah, let's interview those three. No, they're looking right at us. <laughs> Ryuji's face is so perfect for this. Oh, wait, no, he's smiling. I thought he was cringing or something. Uh oh. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Run! Yeah. What do we do? Run, just calm down. Let's make a run for it. That would just make us appear even more suspicious. Oh, okay, fine. They got us. No. Oh, hell. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any of the footage. <laughs> Perfect. Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? What? <laughs> uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you're usually so good at this. <laughs> well, uh, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> so good. Ooh, that was too close. That was truly cringeworthy. But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I feel like they will just for comedic effect. I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. For real, it's everywhere. It's all just meat. Oh, there's some ice cream, too. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the guy that shook his head, I think we've seen him from the TV station before. I don't know. He looks pretty familiar. Oh, right! My kebab! But more importantly, yes, the kebabs. Ooh, that looks so good. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. Yeah, so I'm guessing this is not the festival. This is a festival, but it's not the festival that we were talking about for to celebrate the Phantom Thieves' victory. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. Hmm. It's because we're together. What a great time. I really wanted a kebab. <laughs> uh, let's just let's just be happy about it. That's pretty poetic, dude. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What kind of snow cone is Kay holding? I can still see ice. It's not even covered all the way. What thing? It's not worth it, man. I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? <laughs> A stadium. A stadium. Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go. Sweet. Exploring, I like it. Ooh, construct. Okay, we should not so be around that's here. It? it barely even started. We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jumping the gum. <laughs> the gum. Jumping the gun. <laughs> eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. No. Hmm? Uh oh. Here we go. Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Hey, uh, what is she doing here? Don't you think she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meat earlier. Did she? Uh, oh. Ain't you guys headed home? I've got something to do. Go on ahead without me. I mean, it's not like we're going anywhere together. I got something to do. Huh? Oh, well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. <laughs> Yoshizawa. Senpai? What a pleasant surprise. Kasumi? <laughs> nah, we'll be pleasant. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Oh. Is something wrong? A pep talk. Sometimes when things get me down, I come here. Although that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Oh, wow. Always as bold as ever. Kasumi's eyes look a little red and puffy. Oh, it may be best to accompany her. Oh, we have no choice regardless. Let's go. Whew, that was delicious. What did I just witness? You sure packed it away. <laughs> Dang, she ate a lot. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. I didn't even know this place sold that much food. I want to eat that much. I want to get them some stats like that. How come we can't order like three, five things? That'd be amazing. We'd be able to rank up so fast. So, the meat's done. Was it worth it? Uh, was it worth it? Let's just ask about the meat. <laughs> Simply put, it was a disaster. Oh. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. That sounds rough. Is it more of a mental thing? Hmm. Yeah. Mental? I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Really? Who do you mean? Yeah, who is this person? Hmm? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Might have been too personal to ask, honestly. Oh no. I have a younger sister. Oh no. Oh no, it's gonna be sad. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, she died in an accident. Oh my goodness. It's so sad. I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. Oh wow, so she's doing this all for her sister. It kind of reminds me of Zoro, if you know what I mean. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice, but I wonder if even that won't be enough. You really are doing your best. It's not over yet. Is this really your limit? Ooh. Make her rip off her mask right here in public. We'll be her persona. Is this really your limit? Be all evil and stuff. Senpai. No. And you're right. I can't let it end like this. Dang, look at her face. I, I want her to be in the palace so bad already. When do we get to see her in the palace? You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Okay, no more brooding. <laughs> There are still more meets left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Nice. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. Oh. <laughs> Except for stomach. Well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. <laughs> the best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. <laughs> She's so funny. She's great. I want her to join our team so bad. Who do you think they're gonna target next? They only go after bad guys, right? We have nothing to be worried about. Apparently, if you post a request on the forum, they'll do what you say. I've already read all this. If they're taking out bad guys, it's fine by me. Keep it up. 
Why do we even need the police anymore? Uh oh. Uh oh. Everyone's relying on the Phantom Thieves. Ah, you're back. Not good. Not good at all. I don't think Yoshizawa has met anybody from the fa from the Phantom Thieves except for Morgana. But actually, honestly, I don't even think he's met Yoshizawa either. I don't even know. So I just want to see the moment where they all meet. You know, I don't think they ever will. Honestly, it's probably gonna be a separate team with Yoshizawa. How could you, Arado? Uh oh. What happened? How could I what? What's wrong? Uh oh. Oh no. If you were going to the summer festival, why didn't you invite me? What did oh. you say? How does y Mishima know about that? They're showing it on TV. Something about it being hot in December or saying sweets are to die for? There's a bit with Sakamoto saying some really crazy stuff. You were seeing things. Mission failed. <laughs> Mission? What are you talking about? Look, my point is, next time you guys are going out to have fun, can't I come along too? I'm the fan of these producer, you know? Oh, man. Are you kidding me? I hope Lady Ana and the others haven't found out. Oh, no. Is that us gonna be on TV? Oh, no, that's not us. Oh, wait. Yuji is answering the interviewer. For real? Oh, man, at the end, they still decided to use that footage. Really? Today we'll be talking about summer events, hot and juicy meat. Let's check out how the summer festival went. Start the video. And if it's that hot in July, can you imagine how <laughs> insane the weather's gonna be in December? I'd say that we're real lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. Sweets are just to die for. They did play it. For real? That's crazy. They played the exact same thing. They did I was expecting them to edit it or something, change what he said, but they used exactly what he said. <laughs> Even though it was cut. You know, cut short at least our interview. What is this? Celebrity festival photo. Wait, what? A group mate. Shops open. The actor want to see a movie. Wait, is that actually? Oh my gosh, there's so many cool events going on. Uh, on movie. 17. Oh, it's only today. On's movie is only today. The 17th of June. I mean, the 17th of July. I have it right here on my list. I have a whole list of future movie dates, if you guys can see that. So, I don't know. I think we should, but there's also this top part. What is a celebrity... Celebratory festival photo? What is that? Well, let's read about it. Here's our commemorative... Oh, it's just a photo. Here's our commemorative photo for the summer festival. At least, that was the idea. <laughs> no, we dropped the, <laughs> the slushy. It's certainly evocative. Well, don't let it get to you. Things happen. It's understandable, given the heat. Perhaps your hands grew sweaty and it slipped. Next time, we'll make sure to go somewhere we can actually eat. Agreed. I'd prefer an indoor establishment myself. Preferably one with ample seating and free refills on water. Ugh. That'd just be the diner again. And why not? It's a place of calm where one may also partake of delicious food. I mean, I guess. Man, all this talk about food's getting me hungry. A cup ramen would hit the spot. I believe I shall do the same. Fortunately, I recently acquired some high quality bread crusts. Sorry. Uh, sorry I couldn't catch it for you. I always forgot how short my arms are as a cat. Aww. Well, that's good, because I was really hoping that we'd have to make a decision between Ryuji and Yusuke or go see a movie with On, but I think we're going to go see it with On, honestly. <laughs> so let's go and do that. Let's see On, because this is the only day we're going to be able to watch a movie with her. Well, this is the day we should watch a movie, because this will not only allow us to watch the movie, but it'll also give us a lot of good traits for On, an insane amount of traits with On. So this is a great opportunity. Feel like a movie? Everyone's buzzing about the summer debuts. Everyone's talking about that chick flick, Love Possibility. I get kind of weepy, so I'm embarrassed to go alone. Can you come watch it with me? Oh, so what are you gonna do? Watch it, yes? Yay! All right, let's meet in front of the movie theater in Shibuya. Sweet. See you later, Sojiro. I've got a date. <laughs> Care about the money or my 
social status, but please, I just need to tell her how I feel. Lady Ann's holding back her tears. She's totally empathizing. But the movie is right. A person's true value isn't about social standing or wealth. I feel like I was able to learn about love? Thanks to the craft of cinema, I was able to enjoy the film on a deeper level. Oh yeah, we read that book, huh? Oh my goodness. Is that all for kindness? Charm. Yeah, that's really good, honestly. But that's good. Wow. Thank you, book. Thank you, book. Oh, I used up two packs of pocket tissues. I guess girls like me want that perfect romantic kind of love you see in the movies. I see. Understandable. No, I see. We're gonna go after her. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to go down the on romantic route or with anybody else. I mean, on's a it's it's pretty clear choice, but I think I want to go with Yoshizawa honestly, just because she's new. I don't know. She's just new. Okay. Understandable. <laughs> no flirting here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thanks for going along with it. Now that I think about it, that movie wasn't geared toward guys at all, huh? Thanks! But I'm glad you came with me. You're such a good friend. Oh. Well then, let's head home. Yep, good friends. And Morgana isn't even gonna talk once, which is surprising for him. He's always talking about her. Talking to her. Oh, there she is. Hello, Arado Senpai. Thank you so much for earlier. Now I can give it 110% tomorrow at practice. You're not going to rest? Practice already? I don't like any of these answers. But you're not going to rest at least? Nope. If I take a day off, it'll dull my senses. Next meet, I'll make it onto the winner's podium. I swear. I won't slip up again like I did before. I'll have some great news next time I see you. I promise. Oh, hey. Looks like Yoshizawa is going to be okay now. Okay. I don't know, Yoshizawa, you should be making promises that you can't really control. I mean, she can try her hardest, but it's not guaranteed that she's going to win. Which I feel like would put more pressure on her. So, I don't know. Maybe it's not that deep, but I don't know. She should think of it before she makes promises. <laughs> she sure had us worried. Dang, what a long day it has been. Crazy. And we couldn't even get our drink. Maybe I should have done that before going out with On. Hmm. Uh, I think about it. It's all good. Today's the fireworks festival. Let's meet at Shibuya at five. Oh, we still have the fireworks festival, so we're not gonna. It looks like we're not gonna go to Mementos today. Hey Makoto, are you going to wear a yukata? <laughs> oh Makoto, not Morgana. I was thinking Morgana. I'm planning on it. Yukatas are a great part of the summer tradition. They truly heighten a woman's beauty. I think I will wear mine as well. You've got one. How about you, Kay? I don't have a yukata. I'll go in normal clothes. No, 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 no. I said I don't have one. I want one. That'd be cool to wear. Hey, I know. Why don't you come without your glasses? What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be sad just wearing normal clothes. I was just thinking he might want to go for a change of pace. That sounds great. You should totally come without glasses. You're not going to be able to see the fireworks. Well, you guys better not be late. <laughs> Fireworks and yukatas really add to the feeling of summer. Even Lady Anne will be wearing one. Come to think of it. Oh yeah, there's a fireworks festival today. If you're going, be careful. Those things get insanely crowded. Yes, sir. Hey, hey! It'd be nice to watch fireworks with the chief someday. We could watch them right here in the Blanc. Actually, no, we couldn't. Yeah. We're not elevated enough, I think. I don't know. Maybe we'll catch a glimpse of it, but nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh, more people hit right us up. Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Mishima. Hey, I saw some disturbing news online. It sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. What is this about? I'm in a hurry. No, what is it about? Well, it seems like an insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves. Oh, we're talking about Mejet, huh? The, the group that Say told us about. I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. That's actually all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? Mm. Let's think about this after we get back. 
We don't have much time, so let's get going. Alright, let's get going. Please don't rain. It's a little cloudy, it says on the top left. Damn, it's so hot. Ooh, people in the Yukatas. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are... Fireworks festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be congested for the entire day. Sudden weather changes in minute. Be careful of sudden shifts in climate from afternoon tonight. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. Insanely crowded, like Sojiro said. Or, insanely crowded. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> I feel like I'm being baked. But we're Those girls are way too late. Is it really that hot in the subway? I guess there isn't really AC, huh? It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? Like I said, we don't have God one. Got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. People often say that to me. <laughs> oh, by the way, the exams. I bet you got a big fat F on them. <laughs> oh my gosh, Morgana. How would you say Shut that? Up. We we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? Oh, these are the girls we saw on the subway. That's right. Us too. Wanna go together? Are we getting hit on? <laughs> no, I'm just use K. <laughs> Come on, let's go together. They're just gonna take him, aren't they? Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? No, don't ask me. No way. Let me think about it. Uh, no way. We'll both apologize to the others later. That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. Ooh. <laughs> this guy ain't it. <laughs> How could you? He fumbled. Why don't you go after them then? Oh. So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Uh, well, uh, no, that, that, that's... You know, Yusuke's such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. I like how their eyes kind of match their yukatas, that's cool. Definitely more than somebody I know. <laughs> I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. Oh my gosh, we're gonna you again. Oh? Mona, you little... <laughs> hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Agreed. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. <laughs> A little too late for that. Let's see this. Please don't rain. Oh, it's animated. That's awesome. Or it's... Yeah. <laughs> Can't even see it. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna. No. The rain. Ah. Oh. That was fast. So sad. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Looks like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? Even Yusuke. Dang, a flood warning. What is that? Okay, I guess. Yeah, we we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? 
Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. Ooh. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. Oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. <laughs> it's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. This sucks. <laughs> we made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? <sighs> Lame. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? No, actually. I think they're really cool. That's how it should be, yeah. I like the shade. <laughs> yeah, I like the shade. What are you, Moss? <laughs> I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kaneshiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Yeah, let's go home. No. That was sad. So you won't tell me, no matter what. It's her again. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Huh? What's that supposed to Thanks for the drink. Ooh, scary. We just witnessed that. Hey, we're not done here yet. You didn't even pay for your coffee, did you? What's wrong? I'm home. Lovers quarrel. <laughs> Yo, what if they were? No, I'm just kidding. There's no way. <laughs> no, what's wrong? What's wrong? It's nothing. Okay, okay, fine. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Dang. Sojo didn't have fun. Oh, here we go again. The cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. Who is this person? On to other news. The international hacktivist group Mejid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mejid. First mention of them here. Mm -hmm. Made them sound interesting. These Ooh. are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. Oh, here we go. Oh. The threat to the Phantom Thieves. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. Is this the guy on the very tall building that's always talking? The one with the suit? I don't know. Who is Meshit? If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. Ooh. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Meshit. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akechi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? Akechi? I don't know the details, but there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's quite a nuisance. Very. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. <laughs> What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Phantom thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? Who? I don't. I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. Can't you even take part in small talk? <laughs> you should have more interest in what's going on with the world. Well, it's about time I go home. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. What? Too much of what in the fridge? It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Yeah, you gotta take the... the, the head of the beast off first, which is the Phantom Thieves. We are the leader. We were the one that kind of started all this, but... I don't know. Who knows, actually. Hackers declare war on the Phantom Thieves? This is getting interesting. But why? Did the Phantom Thieves do something to them? Majed is really scary. I'm looking forward to seeing how the Phantom Thieves will deal with it. As do I. I have a new message in the Phantom Thieves chat room. 
Oh, sweet. Now we're going to talk about it. We got to talk about Mejed. You mean those guys people online are going nuts over? Mejed. That name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Ooh. I saw the news too. For some reason, they think we speak a false justice. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak of regarding Mejed? Well... Why don't we go after them as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Whoa. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. Mejed is an organization group of such people recognized by the larger international community. So they operate on a global scale? That makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro, right? Then it's settled. Our next target's gonna be Mejed. I wonder if the nav will get a hit if we put Mejed in. Oh right, yeah, it's probably an international kind of thing. We can just stand anywhere and enter the palace, which might be the group that we were fighting before we got caught. I don't know. I still don't know about that. Okay, let's try it out. That's impossible. No, let's give it a try at least. Morgana, anything to add? That would be impossible. It has to be a pseudonym. We don't even know how many people Mejed is. Hmm. Oh. Wouldn't we get at least one member info if we try and look into it though? Even if we did, how could we discover their location? Ooh, they could be hacking into our conversation and reading it right now. I don't even know. The only confirmed presence of Mejed has been online. This is a larger problem than simply finding their key words. Unless you have any more ideas, Ryuji. Hello? Okay, I was wondering what that was. I pressed it and nothing popped up. It seems he has suggested without putting much thought into it. Come on, you can't back down. People are all excited about it. Our reputation is going to plummet if we don't face this. That is true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Mejid has taunted us publicly, after all. If they are criminals, we cannot let them be. Yeah. And we don't have any other targets right now either. Hey Kay, let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. Let's do that. Is Mishima part of Mejid? What? That's so random. Do what you want. No, let's do that. Let's do it together. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on him. It's highly unlikely, but sure. A world-class target, huh? If we can change Mejed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. No way, we're actually going after this guy? Well, then again, Say did tell us that that was our next target, so this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting for sure, for sure. It just keeps getting higher and higher in difficulty. We got a whole international organization now of, of quote unquote, quote unquote, quote unquote, crackers. So weird. Ooh, I forgot. Who's this? Oh, it's the group. I forgot to post the photo I took today. Sweet. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of... It's cool. Hey, not bad. Right? I'm a natural with this candy photography stuff. I hope for your sake that was intended to be candid photography. It's a shame about the rain, but at least it means today was a little more memorable. Yeah, but next time we really can't miss the fireworks. Agreed. Still, it was almost impressive how swiftly the weather turned terrible. Perhaps one of us is simply fated to bring rain wherever he goes. More photos for the Thieves' Den. But I'm actually going to go back in the past. I'm going to get our drink, and then we'll be right back in this room. I just wanted to get a drink on Sunday because we did have a chance to get it, but I didn't. I just rushed into the movie with on. So I will be right back. One more step closer. Everything looking pretty good, honestly. Three and four levels. Our kindness used to be at level two for the longest time. Same for Charm, I think. But everything looks pretty balanced now. Now I'm going to go back to where we were at. All right, we are back. And uh, yeah, we got our trait. And that's all I really wanted to do. It didn't take me that long to get back to this point. Let me check my plant real quick. Hey, hey. Oh, sweet. Okay, um, which one's the best one? Mega fertilizer. Yeah, that's it. Okay, sweet. Let's just do that. Sweet. Three kindness. I think 
think that's kindness, right? Yeah, it is kindness. Jeez, at this point, I'm surprised it's not ranked up. Again. I'm sure we're close. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. There was so much that happened in this episode. I really wanted to go into Mementos to see our DLC outfits and to just, I don't know, get some fighting in, some action, you know? It's been a while since we did. So now we got to deal with Mejed, the crazy international organization of hackers. Um, but, you know, it sounds like a lot of fun. It's going to be a pretty fun arc. Pretty fun chapter in the Phantom Thieves' life. We were also introduced, kind of introduced. I don't know, we saw this girl at the computer, and then we see this girl getting into her car. I don't know if they're related or how they're going to be in this story, but I'm sure we'll get to know more about them in the next couple episodes. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you wanted to know, I'm doing pretty good in school as well. I think I might try to go back to a one-week schedule an upload per week. I don't know about that yet. It's not finalized, but if it is finalized, I'll let I'll make a post about it if it's going to be possible with my schedule. And it obviously is going to get harder to make these videos every week because I'm getting closer to exams, final exams and just a bunch of things for the end of the year kind of events. So again, I'll let you guys know if you guys look at the community tab on my channel, you'll be able to see any updates that I make, any kind of news that I decide, or any kind of decisions that I make for the channel. But until then, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, fam. Red King Crab. What the flip flop?